We've talked about testing ad nauseum. Uh, we're trying to get everybody uh, that certainly has any symptoms to be tested. That's the first priority. But we're getting to the point where we have the ability to take others into the system too. We have the ability to test 6,000 people per day. Uh, we're not reaching that. We've reached that and a little bit more on some occasions, but we're still falling far short of that number. And so there's need to have more people to get tested. We now have been able to set up 62 different testing sites around the state. If you remember when we started, we just had three or four. So 62 now and growing. Uh, we've been able to process over 102,000 tests to date, uh, maybe more with the latest numbers. Uh, we have three mobile uh, test uh, collection sites. Uh, for example, we've deployed one down to the Navajo Nation to help with uh, their unique challenges there on the reservation. We're going to announce that Utah will transition today from uh, our red uh, color, uh, high risk, to moderate risk or orange as of this Friday, May the 1st. So that's going to be the transition and the change. That's good news on many levels.